All right, we're talking about gold today. Welcome to PriceThisKing.com. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Let's talk about gold and where it's headed. Uh, I've mentioned a couple of things last time on gold, and so let's take a look and dive right into it. Uh, as you can see, this is the daily chart. Um, you you can see if you picture it out and you take a step back. There's a lot of sideways movement, but you, you'll still see the up or the down, the up and down, up and down, right? Um, but, uh, you know, technically, it's not going up as it was like here past and back in the night, you know, 2020s. And so where we go, at least from the short term, like I would like to talk about in this technical analysis um, for gold, uh, where is the gold price prediction in the next few days? Um, is it going up? Is it going down? Uh, let's take a look at it, right? I mean, I'm taking a, a, a holistic approach, but at the same time, I'm showing you something, you know, by taking a step back, right? This is what you see over the past couple of years. And if we zoom in, um, I do have the fibs already on it. So, I'll, you know, we can actually make a good prediction on as to what is going to happen with gold right uh, again you know this is very much dependa dependent related to any of the data or you know other parts of the world uh, where things you know move gold in itself right uh, so i do have the 50 day which i you know typically make a point to let you guys know I have the 50 day and the 200 day on the daily chart kind of gives you an overall picture of where the trend is this is my indication of saying okay you know what uh, when there's a cross when 50 crosses above that means the trend has changed and then it's safe to get in on longs right anytime there's a, uh, a dip like this you can even if you got in over here you would try to get in add another position over here and continue its way up right uh, same thing you know whenever there's a dip by dip by now over here when you saw this dip there was a very much close knit um, between the 50 day and 200 day right and that might have you know caused people to say okay wait a minute you know what um, maybe that's not a good idea to get in but then if you look at the other pictures right and then this is why I have the MACD and the RSI two other indicators I don't rely heavily on just price um, and and I'd like to know where there's opportunities to buy uh, and this is where one of the areas you can look at right obviously we have the major support right in this area uh, which was you know this was the area as well as we had the Bollinger Band the lower Bollinger Band that it was riding on and then we had um, you know the MACD as well as the RSI the RSI said that it was in the oversold condition which I hadn't seen that much of a number for a very long time and that kind of gave you an idea that if there was a green candle there's an opportunity to take a short I'm sorry uh, short term long right like even if you don't know where the overall market is going you could certainly take a long and then have your risks in place um, for that right uh, so now where where are we going in the next few days right um, we have the 50 day over the 200 day which indicates there's going to be some room for upward movement um, certainly that's what we're going to see here uh, we had the 50 day which was trying to hold that support uh, but we were riding the upper band and then we have the mid band here the 50 day here right so now this area is likely going to be a support area right you have this big the support area right here well it actually did it twice so this actually is going to be a support area the 2017 2018 area uh, is support so if you were to get in uh, you not only have a support area here but then you got the mid band you got the 50 day all rising up you got the big gap between the 50 and the 200 uh, that is certainly, um, you know, a good sign for longs. Remember, this was me pointing out um, a couple of weeks back that, okay, you know what, this is a support area. If it does hit, you want to go it long. And it ended up stopping right around here, and it went long, right? Uh, so that's, that's kind of a, a picture of, you know, gold in itself. Uh, over here, what, what's going to happen is we're going to see a support in this area, right? Um, and then it's going to go up. Right? It's going to try to break this 50 again. Then what it's going to do is ultimately try to break this high. 
again, right? I mean, right now what we saw over here was <clears throat> that it made the high. It, it actually, you know, usually that's what tends to happen. It breaks the previous highs uh, and then comes back down uh, and then finds another support area and then goes up. Now, that pretty much leads me to say that, okay, you know what, there's possibility of a cross. We have the, the, the green mountain smaller than the previous mountain, which indicates that the shorts are still in control and there's a possibility of, of it coming down this this area right the 2002 you know this area uh, 2017 area right so but remember when it does come out here if, if you follow the rule of thirds you want to add one position you know depending on what your you know account size is uh, you want to add position here and then if it further goes down to the next level down you maybe want to add another position um, in in um, in the, in the next, you know, as part of the rule of thirds, right? Because what ends up going to happen is it's going to try to hit back the 50 and then going to try to break out the the highs, right? And then try to hit the 20, 21, 12. That's the next goal um, before it comes back down, right? Um, so that's, that's what's happening with gold. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, technically perspective this is the to today's golden technical analysis if you have any questions let me know uh, comment and uh, I would be happy to do an another analysis uh, on any other stocks that you want me to do other than futures prices king.com thank you for watching